Hello everyone, welcome back to our science lesson year 1. Today we will be going to learn unit 6 plants. So our topic for today is parts of plants, characteristics of different parts of plants and the importance of different parts of plants. So don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel Teacher Evelyn. Unit 6 Plants Our content standard is 6.1 Parts of Plants Our learning standard is 6.1.1 Compare and Contrast Parts of Plant that is Leaf Types of Rain Number 2 Flower Flowering or Non Flowering And Number 3 Stem Woody Non Woody And Root Tap Root or Fiber 6.1.2 Relate the parts of plant that is leaf, flower, stem, and root with its importance to the plants. 6.1.3 Make generalization that different plants may have same part. And 6.1.4 Explain observation about parts of plant using sketches, ICT, writing, or verbally. Okay class, now let us look at this picture. Welcome to Agricultural Expo. Wow, the plants in this Agricultural Expo are beautiful. This plant has many leaves, but where is the flower? Okay class, look at this picture and can you identify the differences among the plants in this exposition? Okay, we will learn about this later. Now, let us learn about parts of plants. Now, let us learn what are the parts of plants. Do you know what is the name of this plant class? Okay, this is a sunflower plant. Let us learn what are the parts. Number one, flower. This is the flower. Number two, stem. This is the stem. Number three, leaf. That is the leaf. And number four, root. There, the root are. Next one, let us learn about the characteristics of different parts of plants. Class, there are four characteristics of different parts of plants. Let us remember this. Number one, flower. They are flowering plant and non-flowering plant. Number two, leaf vein. They are netted veins and parallel veins. Number three, stem. They are woody stem or non-woody stems. And number four, root. There are tap roots and fibrous roots. I hope you can remember all these different parts of plants. Okay, let us look at this picture. Flower. This is a lotus plant. It is a flowering plant. Fern plant is a non-flowering plant. Stem. A durian tree has a woody stem. A papaya plant has a non woody stem. This is a picture of a rose plant. 
Now let us look at the type of leaf vein and the type of root. Type of leaf vein. This is the leaf of a rose plant. This leaf has netted vein. Type of root. A rose plant has tap root. This is a picture of a pandanus plant. Let us look at the type of leaf vein and the type of root. Type of leaf vein. The leaf of a pandanus plant has parallel veins. Type of root. A pandanus plant has fibrous root. Okay class, now let us look at some of the examples of a flowering plants. Rose, orchids, mango tree, and tomato tree. All of these plants are flowering plants. Next one, example of a non-flowering plant. Pine tree, ferns, moss, and mushroom. This is the example of a non-flowering plant. Okay, next, what are the examples of plants with a woody stem? First one, rambutan tree. Second one, mango tree. And third one, hibiscus. This is the example of woody stem. How about the plants with a non-woody stem? Okay, the example of the plant with a non-woody stem are Lotus Sugarcane tree Banana tree And ferns Next one, let us look at the plants with a netted veins Sunflower, okra tree, rose, and periwinkle. These are the examples of plants with a netted vein. Now about the plants with a parallel vein. Now let us look what are the examples of plants with a parallel vein. Corn tree, sugar cane tree, onion tree, and pandan tree. Next, let us look at the example of plants with a tap roots. The first one, durian tree, rambutan tree, and langsat tree. Mm. And last but not least, let us look at the example of plant with a fibrous roots. Coconut tree, banana tree, corn tree, and grass. These are the example of plants with a fibrous roots. Okay class, now let us move to the new topic, the importance of different parts of plants. The importance of parts of plant. Look at this picture of a tree. There are flower, stem, leaf, and the root. Why are the leaf, flower, stem, and roots important to plants? Hi, I'm a flower. I'm the reproductive structure of a plant. I will change to fruit and seed. Now look at this example of a mangosteen seed. Next, we go to the stem. I'm the stem. I transport food produced by the leaves to all parts of the plant. I transport water and nutrients from the roots to the leaves as well. Okay, next one, we go to the leaf. I'm the leaf. 
I make food for the plants. Food produced by the leaves is used by other parts of the plant. Okay, last one we go to the root. I'm the root. I absorb water and nutrients from the soil. I support the plant as well. Okay, teacher hope you can understand this important parts of plant. What are the importance of different parts of plants? Number one, flower, change to fruit and seed. Number two, leaves, make food for the plant. Number three, stem, transport food produced by the leaves. And number four, roots, support the plant and absorb water and nutrients. Okay class, that's all for our lessons today. Thank you.